everyone's favorite space probes. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are back in the headlines, capturing the imagination of space enthusiasts and scientists alike. Recently, it looked like we almost lost communication with Voyager 1 for good. On December 12, 2023, NASA reported that Voyager 1's flight data system, which consists of three onboard computers, began sending back binary gibberish, data repeating pattern of ones and zeros that baffled engineers. When the glitch first occurred, NASA could still send signals to the distant probe, confirming it was still operating, but something was clearly amiss. The first solution NASA attempted was to reboot the system, a standard procedure when dealing with technical malfunctions. However, this didn't resolve the issue. The probe continued to send nonsensical data. For months, NASA engineers worked tirelessly, trying every trick in the book to re-establish normal communication. It was a tense and challenging situation, with the possibility of losing contact with this iconic spacecraft seeming more likely with each passing day. Finally, after months of troubleshooting, the engineering team came up with a solution that proved successful. But before we dive into the details of the fix, let's take a closer look at the Voyager 1 probe and appreciate just how extraordinary it was for the engineering team to resolve the glitch, a journey spanning nearly five decades. First of all, it's astonishing that the Voyager 1 and 2 probes have been traveling through space for nearly 37 years now. Launched in 1977, these probes were only expected to last for years, yet they've defied the odds and continue to send data back to Earth, providing invaluable insights into interstellar space. NASA has done everything in its power to keep these probes operational, not just to gather as much data as possible but also with the hope that they'll still be transmitting data when they celebrate their 50th anniversary in space. Voyager 2 was launched first, on August 20th. 1977, followed by Voyager 1 on September 5th. 1977, these two spacecraft hold the title of the oldest active space probes, and their longevity is a testament to the incredible engineering that went into their design. Voyager 1, a scientific legend. Voyager 1 is not just a spacecraft, it's a scientific legend. Throughout its journey, it has made groundbreaking discoveries that have significantly expanded our understanding of the solar system. One of the most remarkable findings was the discovery that Jupiter's moon Io was not just a dead rock, but a supervolcanic world. This discovery, highlighted by an incredible image of a volcanic eruption on Io, stunned scientists and the public alike. Voyager 1 also provided breathtaking images of Saturn and revealed that its largest moon, Titan, might have liquid water on its surface here, finding that has profound implications for the possibility of life beyond Earth. The communication glitch, a harrowing moment. When Voyager 1's communication glitch first appeared, NASA engineers feared it might mark the end of their ability to communicate with the probe. Given how critical Voyager 1 is to our understanding of space, the prospect of losing contact was unsettling. Voyager 1's flight data system is essential for the spacecraft's autonomous operation, especially given that it is now an unbelievable 15, 5 billion miles away from Earth. The fact that we can still communicate with the probe at all is a feat of engineering that's nothing short of miraculous. Voyager 1's flight data system comprises various components that work together to manage the spacecraft's operations. The primary computer aboard Voyager 1 is the Command and Data Subsystem CDs, which processes commands sent from Earth and manages the spacecraft's functions. However, by today's standards, the computer system aboard Voyager 1 is incredibly primitive. The CDs has only 68 kilobytes of memory and a processing speed of just 88 kilohertz, capable of executing around 8,000 instructions or cycles per second. To put this in perspective, a modern central processing unit CPU with a clock speed of 3 GHz executes 3 billion cycles per second, and most smartphones today have 32 GB of memory. The difference in storage is like comparing a cup with 68 drops of water to 32 Olympic-sized swimming pools filled with water. Diagnosing and fixing the glitch, the glitch occurred in Voyager 1's flight data system, a critical component of the spacecraft's overall architecture responsible for managing and processing the data collected during its mission. The primary purpose of the flight data system is to collect, process, 
and transmit scientific data gathered by Voyager 1's instruments back to Earth. In many ways, it acts as the central nervous system of the spacecraft, coordinating its various subsystems to ensure smooth operation throughout its journey. After months of investigation, engineers at NASA discovered that around 3% of the flight data system's memory had become corrupted. The cause of the malfunction remains uncertain it could have been triggered by charged particles in deep space, or it might simply be a result of the probe's advanced age. Repairing the chip directly was not an option, so the engineers came up with a clever workaround. They broke the corrupted code, held on the faulty chip into smaller pieces that they could tuck into spare corners of the flight data system's memory. The first fix was transmitted to Voyager 1 on April 18, 2024. Given the vast distance involved 30 billion miles from Earth to the spacecraft and back, NASA team had to wait nearly two full days to receive a response. Finally, on April 20, 2024, with a collective sigh of relief, the team received confirmation that the fix had worked. Over the coming weeks, engineers will continue to rewrite the rest of the flight data system's lost code which includes commands to restore the probe's ability to send back more crucial scientific data. A legacy of overcoming challenges, this is far from the first time that the Voyager probes have faced technical challenges. A harsh environment of space and the long years of operation have taken a toll on both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Contact with Voyager 2 was temporarily lost in August 2023, and engineers feared that might be the last time we would hear from it. However, just a few days later, communication was re-established, much to the relief of the mission team. Given the age of the probes, NASA engineers have been forced to shut down some of the systems to conserve power. Voyager 1 currently has four out of its 10 instruments still running, while Voyager 2 has five of its 10 instruments operational. To save power, the engineers have powered down heaters and other non-essential systems to prioritize the high-gain antenna which is the main communication link with Earth. The instruments that remain active include the magnetometers, which measure the magnetic fields of the Sun and outer planets, and the low-energy charged particle instruments, which have been crucial in mapping the heliopause outer edge of the heliosphere that acts as the boundary of our solar system. The future of the Voyager probes Despite the remarkable resilience of the Voyager probes, the journey will inevitably come to an end. The radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGS, that power the spacecraft and keep them warm, are gradually losing their effectiveness. These generators use plutonium-238 to produce electricity, and as the radioactive material decays, the power output decreases. Eventually, the RTGS will no longer be able to generate enough power to keep the probes operational, and the Voyager missions will come to a close. These records were curated by a committee chaired by the late, great Carl Sagan, an astronomer, cosmologist, and science communicator. The records are made of gold-plated copper and are designed to withstand the rigors of space travel for billions of years. Encased in aluminum covers, the records include instructions for playback and diagrams showing the location of the sun relative to 14 pulsars, which can be used to determine the time and place of origin of the spacecraft. The fascinating orbit of Earth and the Voyager probes. There's another fascinating aspect of the Voyager missions that not many people know. Despite the fact that both probes are moving away from us at incredible speeds, Voyager 1 at around 38,000 miles per hour and Voyager 2 at around 35,000 miles per hour for a portion of every year, Earth's orbit around the Sun actually brings us closer to the spacecraft as Earth moves towards the probes at a speed of 67,000 miles per hour. Their distance to Earth temporarily decreases. This doesn't mean that the probes are reversing course. Rather, it's a reminder of the dynamic nature of our solar system and the intricate dance of celestial bodies within it. Journeying through the stars represent the very best of what humanity can achieve. While their time may eventually come to an end, their legacy will endure for generations to come. That's all we have for today but be sure to stay tuned for more updates on the Voyager missions. Let us know if you'd like to hear more about the incredible discoveries these probes have made. And thanks for watching.